Hallo, Timo! Welcome to Vinny VR, and this is Hot Dogs All Shoes and Hand Grenades! So guys, as always, before we get started, thank you so much for the new subscribers, and thank you very much for everybody who stuck along the road, along the way. So, so, so appreciate it. And there's so many more big things coming for the channel as well, so I'm so happy to be able to not tell you about it, but obviously eventually all, all things will come clear in the end. It's just been a, a crazy, crazy time, really, really busy. So I hope you're all having a great weekend, and uh, I think I'm gonna have an even better weekend because I really, really wanna get some more sauce and unlock them guns in this meat uh, section. So I think what I really wanna do is continue to maybe try and save up for the M16A1. So it is only burst fire, but it is 4,000 so, so we're really only probably one of them away from getting that and then maybe concentrate on, uh, I was gonna say concentrate on some sights, but I don't think you can get put sights on that. I'm not too sure. You might be able to put a, a sight attachment on that puts the, t that puts the Picatinny rail on it um, and then we'll be able to use it. But if not, um, oh, I don't know now. I'm, I'm starting to think maybe I should just get a sight for the for the um, for the other gun that we've got, whatever that's called. I can't remember what that's called. Look at that. We've even got two sections of assault rifles now. It's getting that big, that many weapons. I wonder how much. Yeah, that one's definitely going to be a lot of sauce. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll get cracking with the the CX4. And does anybody know why it's called the CX4? Let me know down below. I may actually get a sight for it. I'm not too sure because that's 5,000 sauce, man. Like, that's, that's a lot of sauce. That's more sauce than ragu, I tell you. So let's grab this gun here. Not that one. Actually, how much is the FAMAS? Ooh. Eee, I think the FAMAS is fully automatic as well. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Let's just stick to, stick to the plan. Uh, get some magazines, we'll pop them in there, nice little spawn lock there, just anywhere on your controller once it's in there, you can tap it on the thumb pad, changes it to purple, and then it's spawn lockable. So, let's grab this, pop that in there, and also we are using the ProTube VR today for the source section because we want that accuracy, so let's pop that in there like that. And there we go, we've got a nice, lovely, stable gun, which if I just adjust this here like this, I will be showing you um, in other games, actually, do you know what it is? You guys have been asking for right hand view in this game for a long time, so let's see if we can pop a bit of right hand view in for you. A few moments later. So hopefully you guys should now be able to see that right hand view there in the right eye. Fingers crossed, because if I'm not recording or anything like that, I'm going to kick myself. And I definitely, hang on, let's just double check. Yeah, definitely don't have the Steam VR logo on the side there. Liking that. That's a bonus, isn't it? <laughs> let's um, let's have a look. Um, oh, yeah, I think these, this was for the Kimbo ones. I don't want to do the, hang on. Yeah, let's do, I think, open season. So for all those who love it all, uh, for those who love it all, this category is designed around completely open equipment selection. Part of the challenge is figuring out the best equipment combination for the sequence. Expect all sorts of targets. Well, I don't have to figure much out just yet. I'm just after the source for now so that I can actually save up for all the other weapons. Which don't forget as well, this is just for this section. In the other games, in the indoor range, in anywhere else, this plinth, this plinth here, you'll be able to pick any gun. It's just in this section, which I think it's really cool because it does make you come back and play it more and more for a reason, you know, just to get more source to unlock all the weapons and just be like, you know, hey, I got all them weapons unlocked in the source section. Yeah. Freaking love this game. <laughs> Let's go. Let's begin the sequence. Look at that, nice and easy. Already in the gun rig, ready to go. This is actually quite far away, this one. And I'm pretty sure I didn't take the safety off. I thought I did take the safety off. I wonder if you don't hit the red ones. Let's have a look. Oh. Let's try and hit it anyway and see. Yeah, you're not allowed to hit the red ones. 
should really try and get headshots because I think we get more more sauce. Try and aim. So it does have a little bit of dampening effect on it as well, and that's more for. I wonder if I can probably change that in the settings. I might be able to, but it's more for. Oh, look at that, all the blues there. It's more for when you're not using a gun rig, I think, so that when your hands are wobbling a little bit, that it doesn't actually move the gun as much. So I wonder if there's a section that we can change that. Oh, look at that, nice. Oh, a little bit higher, yes. I think we need to lean forward a bit as well here. Oh, wait, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Let's get ready for wave four. Maybe worth... Reloading to be fair. Yep, so we've got to reload there. There we go, that's now, now set and two. So three times two is six. Three times two again. Why are we doing six again? And six again. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's keep on doing that. 16. Oh, where's 16? There it is. Multiples of three. Nine. Six has got to be in. Oh. Warm up for wave seven. You've set it up a little bit different, that gun rig there, just... Oh, what do we... Oh, they're over here. Right, now I get it. That's actually telling you whereabouts it is. Oh, no, trigger. Right, let's go. So this tells you exactly where they are. And you've got to obviously try and shoot them all at the same time. So that's pretty good. Nice little bit of uh, work out there. I don't know what they call them when you go like that. Count down. So, uh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, one, four, three, two, one. Get in. Just quickly pull that out as well. What we got going on there? Ugh, trigger, 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 trigger. 40,548. Don't really care about my score. I just want to know how many... How much sauce I got? Submit the score. Enter, enter. It'd be pretty cool if you could shoot that enter instead. But yeah, never mind. Plus 500 sauce. I'm pretty tempted to have a go at um. Oh wow, silver, not even gold. That's not good enough. Pretty tempted to buy a an M14 A1. Is it or A4? Where is it? Yeah, yeah. M fourteen A one. Yeah, M sixteen. Sorry, M sixteen A one. Pretty tempted, man. Might just get the sight though. This is still not a bad gun, even though it's a uh, single fire, isn't it? I think so. Oh, we're just short as well on that. Just short. How much is the? Uh How much are these? 7,500, 9,000. I actually quite like that open season one. Let's have a, um, oh, bomb defusal one. Bomb defusal one. Time is running out, precision is everything. Careful now, semi-auto firearm recommended. Well, uh, if I had more sauce, I could have it. Let's see how it goes anyway. We're still gonna get some sauce for having a go and it'd be nice to see what it looks like, so. Why a semi-automatic's required better there. We'll, we'll, we'll push through it with this CX-4 though, eh? I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. Count up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Nice and easy. I'm just going to not trigger anybody and just keep that pulled like that. I just want to... Oh, no, no. I wanted to check, but never mind. Right. don't think we need to need it that much. Oh, did we hit a cross there as well? We we're pretty slow on that as well, weren't we? I reckon if you had the fully automatic, you'd be like, brrrr. Oh, hang on a second. Odds, so we got four. Oh yeah, four was even. Mm, three, seven, five. Oh, terrible on them ones. Really, really good for your mental arithmetic though. So somebody like me, Oh, nice. Just get ready with the aim, I think. I could as oh, oh God. <laughs> oh. 
Come on, so see, so see, so. Oh God, four times two, eight. Well, at least they're nice and easy. Go for this. Nine times two, 18. No good at this mental arithmetic stuff. <laughs> all right, mate, no, it's fine. I can edit it out, it's all right. How are you? <laughs> There's a few there for you if you want one. Is it a long one you need as well? Yeah, it is, yeah. Well, that's quite long. <laughs> we did get a little bit interrupted there, so you probably didn't see most of that. I had to, had to stop halfway through. Reloading, oh my word, look at these. Oh, I reckon you have to probably try and get two at the same time there. Let's get ready with the aim, I think. It's just difficult to see the hole, everything that you're trying to hit here. So 22, where's that? Trying to look all over there for 15. Where's 15? Oh, there she is. Oh, no. Though I was three times five. Maybe I hit 15 and it changed to two times five. I'm not too sure. Wow. Trying to get these ones is going to be interesting without getting the... Oh, no. Oh, I panicked near the end. I was just trying to shoot it to get it. Whew. Wave 10. Come on, let's go. Oh, you're going to have to leave the shot here. Right, that's, I think that's going to be the idea. Just stay still rather than try and follow them. Oh, nice. Oof, that was really difficult, that one, wasn't it? That is challenging, that one. Count down. Where are we on? Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Some of them I'm actually just not actually aiming through the site. I'm just sort of... I can't remember what type of aim it is, but it's like an instinctive aim rather than a sight aim. Oh. Nice, right, let's submit that score. I think we'll buy the buy the site. Let's do it. Oh no. Let's uh see how much better this makes us, eh? So we got a nice lovely red dot with a oh, I wonder if we can probably need to Adjust this down a little bit, which is left on your thumb pad. So obviously you're keeping a hold of your trigger while that's there to activate it. So you're off like that. Hold it over until it vibrates. Hold the trigger. And then I think really, maybe about five metres, I think, zero in distance on that one. And then let's just quickly pop this up. Untwist that. Pull it a little bit back if we can, yeah. Let's pull it back a little bit. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. And I think, I think we'd be lined up there, boys. So I want it so it's straight there like that. That's such a shame, though. I wish we could get rid of that, that centre bit. I wish it was just the red dot. Never mind. Let's now try and see if we can get a little bit higher than silver on this one now, eh? So begin sequence. We'll try. No, that's red. Don't want that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's maybe because of the zero in distance, that's not quite, um, I don't know. I really don't know what that distance is. Just need to tighten this up a little bit here. I don't think we're going to get better than silver right now. Let's have a look. Let's grab that. It's not quite centred, is it? There we go. That feels a lot better there. So. Oh, I wonder if you get minus points for hitting the red then. I thought you'd at least get some points for hitting the red. Lean forward a little bit as well. I think we're definitely getting more headshots with the red dot sight for sure. Oh, 
Where the hell? That's probably, uh, that's just my fault. That I probably should have reloaded a little bit earlier there. So I think as well, yeah, it's, right, it's on site now. Very good, that's pretty close, that's probably closer than we need to be. Nice, this is, uh, this is how close it should be all the time. I have to remember this one because this is probably going to get me a lot of sauce, hopefully. Well, back down to nearly zero source now, though, aren't we? I think the, the next one's going to be a different gun, and then I think we'll be able to pop that sight on it. So 14, uh, 15, <laughs> 12. I am really terrible with my tiny table, so it's a good job they're really low. 12 again, where's 12? Multiples of 3, so we've got 30. No, it's not, it's 12. Sorry. Uh, where's 3? Might as well just try and go through the table. 6, 9. See, that's just me just aiming straight off the bat. There's got to be 12 somewhere there. 15. Right, this one I like as well. This one's a good one. This one's a real good one. So, I think this is the one you're meant to use with the guitars as well, but I don't know if that's actually available in the midsection without... I reckon we've definitely got more uh, more sauce on this one than the last time. Hopefully we've got a gold. Count down, uh, count down, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two, two, one. Yes, I think we got that one, you know. Have a, whoa, that one was pretty quick. Wonder if we got more. I wonder if we can see whether we got more on. Yes, we got a gold. Thank you for the sight. Let's pop down to the indoor rain because there's actually a pretty neat feature that it's got here so let's get the let's pop them in there look at that so nice and woo nice and easy I need to get my tracking back here I've got to walk into the centre of my play area and let's teleport over to here as well so if you do hold the trigger like that this is actually using the gun rig and you'll see all I'm doing is lifting it backwards and forwards in the pod. It actually has a secondary sort of tighten button that for when you are using the shotguns that you can't actually just lift it up and down like that. Obviously it won't cock like that because we've got a bullet in, but let's pop one down there. Oh, I think we've probably just run out of bullets. Yeah, we have. So I think what would be best is actually using it as a, having it all the way down there so that actually is hitting against the, the bar of the, um, of the gun rig and then we can just fill this up like this. I guess that'll just mean that if we use the bar as the bottom then we're always going to be hitting around there with the sight so we can move that up a little bit as well. Literally just move that back stock by just hitting it against the back of my arm as well so I didn't really have to do much to get that to move. And then all we do is a nice click just to get rid of that so that we can actually pump it and get it into it like that. And I'm not listening to my own advice there by pushing it all the way down so there's no reason to change your view or anything like that. We'll try and guess where you last pumped it down at. If we kind of hold it like that, it should just come straight back up. And that's just me trying to get used to that. And obviously I need to aim just a little bit higher or maybe the zero and on these aims is just a little bit further out than eight meters. But you see how easy it is to even use a shotgun there. So he has really thought about all the different guns that we're gonna be using in the game with the gun rig. So it's really fantastic. And I just thought I'd show that off as well, why we do have the right hand view in there and why we've got a little bit of time to play with the shotguns, um, which, Actually, just to mention about the live stream, guys, I know there was a lot of people who watched it where they were like, oh, I can't help out, I'm sorry, I can't donate. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put monetization on the charity live stream video so that at the end of the year, once it does collect out a certain amount of money, whether that be $1, whether it be $10, whatever the amount it is that it makes, um, I'll be passing that on 
to um, the Dyspraxia Foundation as well and I'll do that every year and we'll do that with nearly every charity live stream we do I think um, so if you couldn't help out by donating just watch the live stream you know take a look at the advert and watch the live stream um, and if you wanted to have a look as well the Dyspraxia Foundation did send us out a tweet so thank you so much to the Dyspraxia Foundation for sending out a thank you tweet for the donation as well and I'll just echo their words that every single penny or cent or dollar or pound really does count to make the difference you know um, and they, they were very very grateful for it so um, everybody who was involved everybody who donated everybody who watched it and everybody who's going to watch the actual replay of the charity live stream so they can get a bit of money uh, at the end of the year for the video as well huge 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 thank you for that as well because you are making a difference to people who do suffer from dyspraxia so that all said thank you so much guys as always for uh, liking the video you know if you did like this don't forget to leave a thumbs up and if you really liked it you know what to do don't you or maybe you don't because you're not subscribed so if you really liked it why not subscribe? And a very, very, very special thank you to... Ryax Ace, The Iron Shooter, War Mahan, Alex Funk, Dat Panda 69 Loco Rat, Malik Slaughter, Empire NCS, DPD Outlaws, Peter PS4, Fork and Socket, Oscar Castro, Sans Gaming 956, Hunter Lee, Emil Dragonez, Dragonez? Radioactive Sunflower, Mario William, James Gardner, Vitelli Vlogger, Mr. Fox87, Dominic Sparkman, Mr. Bass Booth, Josh S. Made, I think it is anyway, Josh S. Made, Tina Mena, John Rose, Bryce Samuel, and many, many more. Too many more to mention. But as always, guys, if you did like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, you can follow me at VinnieVR1 on Twitter and I'll see you soon. So I all the yeah. So I all the yeah.